I'm back. <laughs> this isn't the first take now. Um, but luckily, I finally have a video editing software, so I can uh, start editing some videos when I need to. Uh, and because of that, I'll be able to upload my concert vlog, uh, hopefully next week. Um, some of the footage is on my phone, and I'm hoping that's in the car that's still in Sudbury. I already have it edited up on the computer, um, I just want to add that footage if I can. If it's not in the car, then I'll just upload, uh, what I have now. Um, for this video, um, if you couldn't tell by the title, um, it's just about love being love. Um, I'm somebody who considers themselves straight against hate, um, in all forms. Um, right now, um, however, I want to talk a little bit about um, uh, LGBT rights. Uh, mostly because of recently DOMA and Prop 8 were both um, abolished. Uh, and Prop 8 was considered unconstitutional and DOMA was struck down. Um, I'm Canadian, so I'm sorry if I don't have the, the proper terminology. Um, although it, it should be somewhat the same. I know Canada works a bit differently than the States, but um, I, as far as I'm aware, um, gay marriage has been okay, uh, has been legal here for a while. But that doesn't mean that, you know, people consider it okay, and I found that very um, hard, to, hard to hear, because growing up, you know, I never heard anyone say, um, anybody that I knew say anything bad. Uh, I mean, I was raised in church, but th that's not something that um, was ever really talked about. Um, but I, I, I found out recently that, you know, there's still that prejudice hanging around and, you know, I just want to come out there and, and tell you, you know, if you are, you know, straight or gay or lesbian or, you know, transgender, it doesn't matter who you are or what your sexual orientation is. It is okay to be who you are. And and you know that that extends to everything and and to everyone, you know. It, it's it's not just people who who, sh sh um, I won't say struggle with um, sexual identity. Well, you know, a, a lot of people do struggle with it. Um, you know, because if people in their life are saying that it's not okay or it's not right or you're wrong or or anything like that, that's what's not okay. It is okay to be who you are. And I guess I kind of came to my views on my own, um, but the big thing that, um, that made me so passionate about it is I had a friend come out to me when I was, I was 15, he was a couple years older, I believe, I, I believe he was 17 when he came out to me. Um, and it just, it struck me that the, w the way that he worded it, it was online, um, because at the time I was living in British Columbia and all my friends, well most of my friends were in Ontario, and it struck me so much that he seemed worried about how I would take it. And I just said, you know, like, you're still the same guy, you're still my friend, like, it, sh it just struck me that he had all this worry about how, if I would accept him. And I think that it, that shouldn't be a problem, that shouldn't be a thing, like people shouldn't have to worry about, you know, whether or not who they are is going to be accepted. And that, it, it hurts me. Um, I, I can't explain why it it hurts me that you know there are people that I care about that I love dearly um, me and this uh, friend unfortunately grew apart a bit um, we don't talk much anymore um, just because you know he went to university uh, three hours from our hometown and I ended up going to university eight hours in the other direction so there's about eleven hours in between us and you know 
sometimes things just fade away. But I still have friends that, you know, I really care about dearly who are who are gay, who are bisexual, you know, who who deal with those issues. And to hear people say that they shouldn't be allowed to get married, it pisses me off to no end. I it it makes me want to like tear my hair out. And I have people sometimes ask me like, "Why do you care so much? Why are you passionate about this?" And is you know, asking me, are you gay? And it's like, no, but why should I have to be gay to be passionate about it? Why can't I just want everyone to be loved for who they are, no matter who they are? And, and, and that, and if, you know, if only people in the LGBT community fight for their rights, then, you know, it's, it's going to be really hard for them to get there because they're a minority. You know, so people in the majority have to fight too, or else, you know, progress can't happen. Everyone needs to be on board for progress. And, you know, I've, I've, I've literally, I was, I wrote down some notes here. I want to make sure that I actually get out everything that I wanted to say. Um, because of how much it means to me, I, I want, I consider myself an ally. Uh, um, I just want to put myself out there for anyone, you know, not just people in the LGBT community. Um, you know, I just, I want to help people who are struggling. Um, and this may bleed a little into one of the other topics that I want to talk about um, a little later of, of suicide, because I know what bullying is like, because I was bullied horrendously throughout uh, elementary school. And in high school, people used to like make things up, make say you know that I was a lesbian, and I would I would sit there like flabbergasted and be like, why is that a bad thing? Why would that be a bad thing? And and I I, I felt in my heart like, if you're making fun of me for that, and you know it's not even who I am, but if people who are, you know, part of the LGBT community are seeing that, I mean, how discouraging would that be? I can't even imagine, um, and you hear all the time about, you know, peop uh, teens, gay and lesbian teens or transgender teens who are, are, you know, committing suicide because of this bullying, and I have lost family members to suicide, I, I, and that feeling of being left behind is so heartbreaking, I don't want anyone to ever have to go through that. I don't want people to have to go through the bullying that, you know, that I went through and, you know, I wasn't even a part of that community. I just, I'm, I'm an ally. That's, that's all. I mean, it, it leaves me flabbergasted. Like, I don't understand it. I don't understand why, why there's so much hate in some people's hearts or prejudice. I mean, you know, some of it, and, and having to forgive people that you care about for their prejudice is one of the hardest things that I've ever had to do. Um, because, you know, some older family members, it is really hard to change their minds. Um, there was... And, actually, I'm glad I have my, my notes here. <laughs> um, one of the things that worries me, well, it, I couldn't care less if I had a child who was gay. I mean, I would love that child all the same, but at the same time, knowing that that prejudice still exists, I don't know how, 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 I would worry about them constantly. Um, and, you know, I worry about, you know, those, those, um, people, other people in my life that, you know, I can't exactly, you know, kick out of my life, um, but, um, I, I would worry about their, their reactions to it as well, and, and for the sake of, of the child, and, you know, that, that really worries me, um, but I guess the only thing that I can really do is, if or when that time comes, you know, be like, you know, 
you've got to get over this now because, you know, this, this it would be my kid. You know, they would have to get over that and, and deal with it because, you know, my kid would come first, obviously. Um, and it's like not, not everyone who has that prejudice is necessarily a bad person. It's, it's the way they were raised in a lot of a lot of um, senses or you know the world that they grew up in but it still doesn't make it right and it still doesn't make it okay to have that prejudice um, and I just want to put it put it out there that you know like just no matter who you are love it and embrace it and don't let anybody tell you that you're not good enough or that you shouldn't allow to be get to get married or you know or that you're wrong, you know, because who you are is who you are. And you should you should love that. You should embrace it. You should just love yourself.